Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hi everybody. Um, I'm Raquel Chavez, I'm a junior political science major. Um, well, I'm also minoring in Spanish and Latin American studies and getting certificates in CLCE and social entrepreneurship. And yes, I am graduating four years. Um, so basically, I am I'm half Puerto Rican, half Mexican. So uh, I actually I ended up coming to NIU by force, um, by my parents. I actually had a full ride to go to the University of Puerto Rico, um, but I turned that down last minute. Um, it was based on reasons of I didn't feel it was right for me. Like, it kept, I was stoked to go, but then the time came and it was like, no, Raquel, like, this is getting real. Like, it's too far, five hours away from your family. Like, I had family but down there, but it wasn't my immediate family, so I didn't feel like I was ready. So I commuted my freshman year. Um, I got involved in one club, and it's the one I'm actually president of right now, it's United Model United Nations. Um, and since then, I've been joining organizations like no other. I'm currently in, I think, 12 organizations now. Um, they range from um, my areas of study, to athletics, to um, religious, everything, every facet of this campus, basically. So, and I most recently found out that, well, I've been campaigning to be Student Association Vice President, and I have won that. So, thank you. <laughs> um, so that's a very, very good accomplishment for this semester. Um, I'm also in honors, upper division honors. I've studied abroad. So I think um, it might just be my personality that I, I like going out, I like doing these things. Um, I'm passionate about every single thing I do. Um, The way, like, I grew up very unorthodoxly, that's a word, um, <laughs> as opposed to many Latinos. I grew up in the country, um, Hampshire, it's about half an hour away from here, and I never, my cousins live in the city, but that's basically the only city experience I have. Um, I grew up in a majority, like, a basically all white community. I was one growing up, I, I moved out there. And I was one of like six Latinos um, in my school. The school was really, really small. Um, my graduating class was 263, just like two. Um, so basically, just how, as I noticed, there's differences between how my cousins were raised and how they grew up based on their surroundings and how I grew up and my, me and my brother um, did what we did. And like, it was just, it's interesting to see how. Um, like, I'm still a Latina first. Like, that's, without a doubt, something that I am very passionate about. Like, I, I love my people. Um, and, but I think I have a lot of, and Ray and I have discussed this a lot, um, just I have a lot of other things that have influenced the way I think, the way I do things, the way I go about things. Um, just because I have a different perspective on things. Like, I, I grew up amongst white people. They're my friends. I love them. So, and that's just like I see things from their point, but like from my point as well. Like we've had discussion about um, what's it called? Affirmative action. We have two very opposing viewpoints, but we still like we're fine with it. Um, I personally don't like it. Um, I don't want to be. I don't want your pity just because I'm a Latina. I can do it on my own. Is basically what it comes down to for me. Um, so. But for others, but I mean, and then it's like, oh, but you're Latina, you get, um, like, you're more likely to get into, say, Harvard because you're you're diverse. Um, I'm like, well, okay, I'll take that. But I mean, that's something I can't help. But if it's something that I have the power to change, like, affect in my own way, like, my papers, like, if you're gonna just help me out because I'm Hispanic, or you're gonna look at me a certain way because I'm Hispanic, like, I don't want that. Like, I, I view people equally because I grew up where I was viewed as an equal. Um, and I, yeah, I just, I think I just grew up a lot differently than most people. So even at the Latino Research Center, um, when I came in, because I started working there over, well, beginning of the school year. So I noticed that most of the, the workers were, had grown up in the city, had that bond, you know, and I was like, I don't, I can't connect with you guys as well as like, you, they do with one another. So I kind of felt left out. It also doesn't help that like I'm half Puerto Rican, half Mexican. Um, the 
two within themselves. They they clash. They butt heads. Um, like my family, um, it took forever for my dad's side, who's the Mexican side, to accept my mom because she's Puerto Rican. For whatever reason, I don't know why. But my mom's side completely welcomed my dad. Um, so I mean, it's just kind of like a battle between that. It's just trying to figure out um, the balance. I mean, I love the balance. It's cool. Most people can't say they're half Mexican, half Puerto Rican. Um, and the food's great. And, <laughs> um, but, what else? I mean, do you guys have any questions at all? Or like, I'm not sure if I should well, stop. Well, let's give her a round of applause.